Hey, hello, I'm uh, Mathieu de Beul. I'm an assistant professor at uh, Biomeda, the Biomedical Engineering Research Group at Ghent University, and I'm also a managing director of uh, FEOPS, a spin-off company from the lab. So both within Biomeda, the biofluid tissue and salt mechanics for medical application research unit and uh, FEOPS, our spin-off company, we strive to develop novel realistic simulation strategies for minimally invasive cardiovascular devices and we really try to bring this simulation technology from bench, so from model de from device development up to bed, up to clinical practice. Uh, and of course one of the key aspects for doing this is, is model validation and there our installed equipment is of uh, utmost importance. I think the, one of the greatest benefits, besides the very good support, of course, from Instron, is, is the flexibility of the system. So we have uh, an Instron 5944 uh, system, which can be placed both vertically and horizontally, uh, and which has some appendages like, like a bio box, uh, which is very important because for testing specific medical devices, it is important to do this at, at body temperature, so if we want to test the flexibility of a catheter or we want to test the rate of strength of a stent or a stent graft or to do a tissue, tissue testing um, for um, deriving the mechanical properties from, from human tissue, we can all do this in one system. Um, and besides that, of course, the accuracy, the reliability um, are of utmost importance when you start testing medical devices. One nice example of, of combining the experimental data we're gathering with the Instron equipment and the advanced finite element computer simulations we're doing is in the area of patient-specific modeling. So where we take imaging and data from a patient and we predict how a specific device interacts with that patient without even doing the surgery. Uh, one area we're doing these types of models is for TAVI, this is transcatheter aortic valve implantation and this is for the replacement of diseased aortic valves. And currently there are uh, minimally invasive stent-based products on the market, but they see that if one of these devices is put in a specific patient, that sometimes there are um, outcomes that are not that good, so for example that there is leakage of the valve. And we believe that with computer simulations, we would be able to try to prevent these complications so that you can really um, plan your surgery properly and based on simulations, get additional information on what implant size or type to choose for a specific patient. So I, I really like the approach from Instron because working in the biomedical engineering field, uh, we do have needs for testing in vertical positions, in horizontal positions, and needs for specific accessories. And Instron was able to fulfill all these needs with, with one with one tool. So with our Instron 5944 machine, combining it, for example, with the BioBox to do testing at 37 degrees, or with the BioBot to do, uh, again, testing at 37 degrees, but then submerged, it is a very nice way to have uh, one solution for all these different problems we're trying to tackle in this field. We want to become the reference simulation partner for innovative um, cardiovascular device companies and research centers around the world. Um, and therefore we will continue to develop uh, novel uh, validated simulation strategies. Um, for those validation purposes, the instrument equipment will play a crucial role. Um, we believe that it is feasible to reach this goal and to bring this technology really from the bench to the bed. And we really want to prove that it is uh, feasible.